The Nora B52 is one of the leading players in the track mounted howitzer market. Its predecessor, the MGS25 Alexander, offers new features which make it one of the best in its class. But these track mounted howitzers are generally overlooked compared to their counterparts such as the Archer, Atmos 2000 and Cezal. As the weapon detective, we are now investigating the Nora B52 and MGS25 Alexander, the Serbian solutions for modern artillery. The Nora B-52 takes its name from the abbreviation of Serbian words Novo Orozuje Artillerie, meaning new artillery weapon. Different variants of this track-mounted howitzer or shortly TMH are in the service of five nations. The MGS-25 Alexander is a new system based on the Nora B-52. It has more advanced features. The Nora B-52 is a little known TMH. By saying that we indicate two facts. First, their popularity is lesser than the Archer, Atmos 2000 and Cezal. Second, many sources mention many different origin stories about them. Navigating was a big challenge for us in the sea of information pollution. We tried to reach the most accurate conclusion with cross-checks as best as we could. Please do not hesitate to share your information on this subject in the comments section. In the mid-1970s, the Weapons and Aircraft Design Institute of the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia Vojno Tehnički Institute, or shortly VTI, began a study on a new generation howitzer family. The brilliant Canadian engineer Gerald Bull, who had also worked in the South African G5 and G6 projects, was involved in this endeavor of Yugoslavia. The first step was the development of the M84 Nora based on a similar carriage to the 152mm 26 caliber D20 gun howitzer. Compared to its Soviet counterpart, the M84 had better ballistic performance and easier and more rapid handling capabilities in the firing position. Besides, it had a 39 caliber barrel and could fire extended range munitions. The towed variant of the new howitzer was also called Nora A and was introduced in 1984. In the same year, the VTI began to develop the Nora B and Nora C versions with a 45 caliber barrel. The last was a towed artillery system. Thanks to its auxiliary power unit, it could change its position without requiring a towing vehicle. The self-propelled howitzer variant, the Nora B, was innovative as it was one of the earliest examples of TMH. Besides, the VTI worked on the conversion of the 130mm M46 gun with a 155mm 45 caliber gun to replace the M68, which was a domestically produced 155mm howitzer based on the US M114. It was called M4684. But because of the breakup of Yugoslavia, the Nora B, Nora C and M4684 never reached the production stage. The turmoil in the following years also prevented further development efforts. During this period, the world saw Serbia, one of the successor states of Yugoslavia, as the bad boy of Europe and isolated it. However, the situation began to normalize after the Kosovo War. This new era brought new opportunities. First, thanks to the Cesar, many armies had begun to be interested in the TMHs. Second, the Serbian military industry had been free from the shadow of the international arms embargo. So, the VTI reinitiated the Nora B program. But this time it preferred a 155mm 52 caliber gun instead of a 152mm 45 caliber to increase its chance in the international market. The prototype of the new variant called Nora B 52K0 was completed in 2003. It was based on FAP 2632 8x8 truck. The hull and semi-open turret were unarmored. This variant was delivered to the Serbian army for tests in 2007. After the trials, the Nora B-52 K1 version was introduced based on the feedback received. It had an armored cabin and semi-open turret as well as a fully automatic gun laying and loading capability and an advanced fire control system. These improvements increased the accuracy and reduced the crew number. But the VTI quickly realized that the domestic FAP 2632 was not preferable for foreign customers. So, 
It began to offer the Kama 63501 and MAN 8x8 track based variants of the TMH called Nora B52KE, and it worked. Myanmar adopted the Kama's based Nora B52 and became the first operational user. After the TMH achieved many export success, the Serbian army officially took the Nora B52KI variant into service in 2019. This version has a closed turret, a more robust chassis, and a more advanced fire control system. The 155mm barrel of the Nora B52KI is fitted with a muzzle velocity radar. Due to improvements, the combat weight of this variant has increased to 34 tons. The armored forward cabin and turret of the Nora B52 are resistant to small arms and shell splinters. The vehicle can also withstand landmines containing 6 kg TNT equivalent explosives anywhere under the hull. The Nora B52KI also has NBC protection and is supported by an automatic fire suspension system. The 8x8 chassis offers good off-road mobility. It is also supported by a central tire inflation system. The Nora B52 can travel at a speed of 25 km per hour on rough terrain. When traveling, the gun is locked toward the front of the vehicle. The Nora B52 can be ready to fire in less than 1.5 minutes after it stops. During the action, the turret is traversed to the rear. Before firing, the TMH is stabilized via a four-armed hydraulically folding carriage. The Nora B52 adjusts the elevation and traverse of the barrel automatically with its advanced fire control system. The TMH has network-centric warfare capability and all these processes can also be controlled from the command center. The Nora B-52 is supported by an inertial navigation system and it can also be fitted with GPS on demand. So, thanks to all these systems, the TMH has high accuracy. The Nora B-52 has a modular design and the users can choose different types of electronics. For example, the Bangladesh Army preferred the Sajam Sigma-30 inertial navigation system. Thanks to the auxiliary power unit, the Nora B-52 can execute firing functions even if the main engine is not running. In case of a failure of the electrical power subsystem, there are hydraulic backups on the TMH. The Nora B-52 fires 155mm rounds developed by a local Svoda company, but it is compatible with standard NATO munitions. The ranges of the M107 high explosive, M04 extended range full bore, MO2 Extended Range Full Bore Base Fleet and M15 Extended Range Full Bore Rocket Assisted Base Fleet projectiles are 32,000, 34,000, 41,850 and 56,000 meters respectively. Svoboda is currently working on a new Extended Range Full Bore Base Fleet projectile with a 44,000 meters range. The Nora B-52 can also fire the M982 Excalibur and a 155mm variant of the Krasnopol guided munitions. The rate of fire of the Nora B-52 is 4 to 6 rounds per minute, but it can send 3 rounds in 20 seconds in burst mode. The barrel can be elevated between minus 5 to plus 65 degrees. Even though the turret has a 360 degree turning, the practical traverse is 30 degrees to the right and left during the fire. The TMH has the multiple round simultaneous impact capability. The automatic loader carries two cassettes containing 12 projectiles and 12 propellant chargers. It can be refilled from the container on the deck of the vehicle. The container has eight removable cassettes, each containing six housings. The Nora B-52 has a five-person crew. The TMH is 11 meters long, 2.95 meters wide and 3.45 meters high. Its combat weight is 28,000 kilograms. The 410 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine provides a maximum speed of 80 kilometers per hour. The range of the vehicle is 500 kilometers. The Nora B-52 can negotiate 0.5 meter vertical steps, 1.6 meter trenches and can afford to adapt of 1 meter. Serbia began to work on the MGS-25 Alexander in 2012 and has built two prototypes until today. One has a 23 liter and the other one has a 25 liter chamber. With its fully automated unmanned turret, the MGS-25 Alexander has the same design concept as the Swedish Archer. But it's lighter with its 27,000 kg combat weight. 
All gun functions are controlled from the armored forward cabin. The variant with a 25 liter chamber can send a wheel up munition to 67,000 meters range. The turret holds a revolver type automatic loader with 12 rounds. The MGS-25 Alexander also carries 12 additional pieces of ammunition stored in a storage box at the back behind the forward cabin. Thanks to full automation, the crew number reduces to 3. Depending on the customer's demand, the TMH can be built on the Kamas 63501, MAN TGS or FAP 3240 BSAV 8x8 trucks. As you may have noticed, we described the Nora B-52 as a TMH since the beginning of this video. Yes, it has a track chassis. However, it is a wheeled self-propelled howitzer or shortly SPH rather than TMH. The basic logic of the TMH is to mount a howitzer on a truck rather than towing it. It has a relatively simple design. Generally, these type of systems do not have a turret. The crew is out in the open without armor or NBC protection during the firing. Defining the Nora B-52 as a wheeled SPH is more convenient from this perspective. The MGS-25 Alexander is even more appropriate for this definition, like the Archer. You may ask why we prefer the term TMH so far. We intended to save this assessment for our analysis section. So, let's correct this intentional mistake and call them SPH now. Other than Serbia, Bangladesh, Cyprus, Kenya and Myanmar preferred the Nora B-52. How could this SPH find new customers in the international market while the Archer couldn't? First, Serbia has taken over the lion's share of the highly prestigious Yugoslavian defense industry. This country was founded in its current form in 2006, but no one can say that it's only 16 years old. It is also not new in the market. Serbia has prestige in the traditional Yugoslavian market. Second, the Serbian defense products have lower cost than the Western rivals and better quality than the former Eastern Bloc systems. So, they are preferable options for a country that has a limited budget but needs a weapon system with high effectiveness. Besides, although the political position of Serbia brings some disadvantages, it also brings unique advantages. Relations between this country and the West have improved significantly since the mid-2000s. However, the Kosovo issue still prevents a full recovery. Therefore, many countries with distant relations with the West see Serbia as a more reliable arms supplier. Of course, the four foreign users of the Nora B-52 did not make this choice for one reason alone. But we may say that the first reason was effective for Cyprus in choosing the Nora B-52. The second reason brought success in Kenya. The third reason had a significant impact on Bangladesh and Myanmar deals. Even though the Swedish defense industry was also highly prestigious, it had not achieved to create a traditional market for its artillery systems during the 1970s and 1980s. The Swedish self-propelled and towed howitzers had high quality, but unlike the Serbian counterparts, they were expensive. Yes, like Yugoslavia, Sweden was a neutral country, but still, it was not in the middle of the East and the West. It is a part of the Western world. Let's accept that no one can expect Bangladesh, Cyprus, Kenya and Myanmar to buy the Archer from Sweden. But at the same time, no one can expect Switzerland to shortlist the Nora B-52 or MGS-25 Alexander of Serbia. So, these same class SPH are not true rivals in the international market. Although they offer similar capabilities, they are suitable for different customer profiles. According to our analysis, the Nora B-52 and MGS-25 Alexander are currently unrivaled in their unique market. So, many countries which need an affordable but highly effective modern SPH would probably prefer them. We think that the Nora B-52 and MGS-25 Alexander will be mentioned more often thanks to their superior features and the unique position of Serbia. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.